this year's virtual camp? <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I'm so excited. Between that and the Apollo 11, I just don't know what to do. It's been 50 years. Wait, the Apollo 11, is that the time the 11 balloons started making shapes up in the sky with nobody doing anything to them? No. Wait, the Apollo 11, was that the time that 11 pieces of mail mysteriously vanished into a great underground and was eaten by the goblins? Uh, no. Apollo 11. Oh, oh, the Apollo 11 was the time the 11 octopuses crawled out of the ocean in reverse scuba gear, right? No, Taylor. Oh, Taylor, the Apollo 11, we're celebrating the 50th anniversary of when we put an astronaut on the moon. July 20th, 1969. Oh, oh, well, that explains why we're here at the Space Gallery here at the Michigan Science Center. Exactly. Oh, <laughs> wait, Izzy, does today's experiment have to do with Oh, oh, or Apollo 11? It certainly does. Oh, Taylor. Taylor, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Three, two, one, let's go. Oh, man, Izzy, wouldn't it be fun to go to the moon? Wow, are you kidding me? I would love to. We could see planets and the stars. Oh. Hello! <laughs> well, I can't take you to the moon, but I can help you design your own rocket ship. Yes, please! <laughs> well, but first, <clears throat> introduction. Izzy, planet Earth. Um. And Taylor, resident of Jupiter. <laughs> And Jasmine, biology buff, taco taster extraordinaire, and steam activator here at the Michigan Science Center. Wow. <laughs> In good company. That's right. So, let's talk about our rocket. Okay. Yes. This let's year. talk about our rocket. I like oh. it, I like it. <laughs> Extra guacamole. <laughs> Always. <laughs> so this year, we are celebrating the first time that we ever went to the moon. <gasps> yes, with Apollo 11. Exactly. 50 years ago, three astronauts blasted off into the air and went to the moon for the first time. Wow. Incredible. That's amazing. Now, their rocket ship was made out of steel and aluminum, but we're going to use our own rocket template. Ooh, Ooh out of paper. Exactly. This that seems way. manageable. Yeah, better than steel. Oh my God, forget about it. Like, come on. A lot better than steel. And this way, we can customize our rocket any way we want. <gasps> yes! You mean we can go ahead and color any kind of patterns or shapes? And we can make it big or small. Exactly. Oh, wow. wow. And how big or small your rocket is changes how it flies. Amazing. So let's talk about the things we're going to need. There are scissors. That means we need to make sure that there's a grown-up present. She's right. She's, She's right. right. Safety first! So, let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut out the body of our rocket. we've cut out our rectangle, uh -huh. we're going to wrap it around our pen or pencil to create a cylinder. Cylinder. Keep our cylinder closed. There we go. Next, we're going to add our fins. Ooh. So our fins work together with our nose, kind of to swim, but most importantly, to give it stability against drag resistance when it's flying through the sky. Our fins are gonna be attached to the edge of our rocket because it helps give our rocket stability. Wow. Do you have a 
wonder how rockets keep going in the same direction after blast off? The answer, my dear, is fins. They're part of the rocket's tail and they help stabilize the whole bit. You see, when a rocket tears through the air, changes in the air can make it wobbly, and too much of that can steer it in the entirely wrong way. But if you've got the right shape, size, and number of fins, well, then it's smooth sailing. When everything's calibrated just right, it means less drag or resistance, and your rocket will zoom away. And then the last thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna create our nose. <gasps> I've got one. You got one right there. We're gonna make one on our <laughs> rocket. We're gonna pinch the top of the rocket and turn it into a cone shape, just like the bottom of an ice cream cone. There we go. All right, and <gasps> there is our rocket. Wow, it looks just like one. It's so beautiful. Wow. There's only one more thing we need to do. Oh boy. Last off. <gasps>